So I'm all ready to go out to my girlfriend's party, but I wanted to show you ladies how to do this cool updo because it's super cute and you guys can use it for prom or for any party like I am. So stick around. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some heat protectant because we're going to work with heat today. So I'm just going to evenly apply on my hair. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this top section from ear to ear. And right where my crown is starting to end, I'm going to bring that up and I'm going to clip it back. And this is just because I'm not going to work with the section right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my base. So taking your fist, it's almost how big your base is going to be for this updo. So I'm going to do it in a circular way and just grab my base and create like a pointy toe. So now what I'm going to do with my base is I'm going to kind of roll it around and make a little bun out of it. And if you have thick hair, what you can do is you can braid it. But I'm not going to braid it today because my hair is not so thick. So now that I'm done with my base, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this clip down and I am going to do a division here in my bang area, but this bang area is going to be twice as big as my normal bangs. So I'm kind of just going to take it with my rat tail comb and divide it and I'm going to clip that away because I'm not going to work with that right now. This is for the end, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to section off and I'm going to start off from my right side and I'm going to section off small pieces um, and I'm going to clip the leftover hair to the top just so that it doesn't bug me when I am kind of working with the whole section. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to apply my curling iron and I'm going to make little pink curls with this. So it's going to look really cute like you guys seen in my intro. It's going to look super cute and this is the way you can create those pink curls. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick in my curling iron. this piece up cool and now what I'm gonna do is each curl that I do I'm gonna direct it towards my base and I'm gonna kind of roll it into a pin curl and pin it on my base and that's what's gonna create the whole look so with one finger you can grab and you can just pull it around there and direct it to the back and I'm going to continue with all my head doing the same thing, grabbing about an inch of thickness of whole sections and just pinning it and curling it all the way to my base, okay? So I did this whole right side section down and I just pinned it like I said, I curled it and I pinned. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top clip out and I'm going to take another about half an inch or an inch section and I'm going to do the same thing going clockwise again. So I'm all done with my right side, now I'm going to continue to my left side doing those pink curls again. So sometimes when you let go of your curling iron, your hair looks kind of frizzy and you just don't know what to do with it because it's all over the place. To tone it down, what you can do is you can add a little bit of metamorphosis 
and just apply a tiny bit amount on your hand and then on your fingers and with your fingers just go over that curl and I promise you your curl will look shiny and super easy to work with. Now any placement that you put your flat iron, um, if you can either put it up or you can put it down, play with your placements. It really makes a big difference when you place your, your curling iron in different directions. So I recommend you guys play with it one day, sit at home and just do upward position and downwards and that way you guys can see the difference. If you guys can see I've been using my open and my closed bobby pins so if you guys kind of just want to hold a little hair in place I recommend that you guys just stick this open bobby pins in any piece of hair that you want to but if you want to have like an ultimate hold then have the regular bobby pins on your hair so I'm all done with all my pink curls I went clockwise and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my top section now this top section I don't want a lot of volume so to not create a lot of volume just to create a nice wave for your pink curls what you guys can do is you can place your curling iron going upwards So I'm done with all my pin curls and I'm gonna do my top part. And for this top part, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tease it and I'm gonna tease small sections. I'm gonna probably do about four or five sections and tease from the front and from the back just to give it a nice voluptuous loop. So now I'm just going to smooth it and as you guys can see I was kind of directing my tease going to my left side because that's where my swoop is going to go to. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the whole section and I'm going to just smooth it out a little bit more and hairspray it down and direct it with my rat tail comb. I'm just going to pin it to the back. Cool! So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do my final touches. With my rat tail comb, I'm going to bring out any little pieces that I want to bring out and add volume to. And then I'm just going to hairspray it down and I am done. So I'm all done and I really hope you ladies can incorporate this hairstyle in your next party or wherever you guys are out to. So I want to see the pictures, send them to me, Mwah! big ol' kiss and until next time, bye!